epic red and white and the samsung galaxy s7 box which also looks epic these three are the best looking smartphone boxes ever and let me know in the comment section down below by the way which one of these do you prefer so on the front we get this really nice s7 edge logo with silver and blue lettering 32 gigabytes capacity black onyx and then on the back we get a listing of all the specs and the famous seal which tells you that you can only use this with a european sim card since this is the european model and there's actually a tab here so let's remove the sticker oh no it looks it looks horrible now but yeah let me just get my big old murder knife and cut the seal open lift up the box oh and this is actually magnetic which is really really cool good job samsung and there we go the samsung galaxy s7 edge in all of its glory and oh my god look at how awesome this thing looks so let's put it to the side for just one second and see what else we get inside so the first thing that we get in the box is this booklet and inside that we get a sim eject tool which looks pretty cool and you can also attach this to your keychain and then we get some manuals the quick start guide which shows you all the buttons how to add a micro sd card a sim and so on and we also get a warranty and safety guide and oh what's what's this regional lock thought i got this unlocked oh so apparently if you use a sim card from a different region when activating your phone your phone will be locked and you will have to take it to the nearest samsung service center what seriously samsung next up we have this blue or black case which includes the headphones among the two earbuds and these are the same headphones that we've seen with previous samsung devices so nothing too special and we also get a charging cable still a usb to micro usb instead of the newer usb type c standard power adapter which also supports quick charging and then take a look at this we also get a micro usb to usb adapter so you can connect this to an iphone and transfer data or connect a controller a usb drive and so on this guy tells you everything actually and that's basically it this is everything you get inside the box so let's remove the plastic foil covering the s7 and whoa you gotta love that noise and there you go the edge has been strapped naked and it's now booting okay so i've been using the samsung galaxy s7 edge for the past week now and this is what i think so far First off, in terms of the design, well, the design. This thing looks insane. Curved edges on both sides, actually. So yeah, the back is also curved now. And because of that curved back, it also feels insanely good in the hand. So I've held a lot of phones in my hand, but this one, this one actually feels the best. Also, even though it's a 5.5 inches display, this thing has a pretty small form factor. It's smaller than the OnePlus 2, and it's not that much of a difference between this and a 4.7 inch iPhone success. Then the microSD card support has also returned, which is also pretty great. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this. Do you use a microSD card in your phone? Let me know. And now just take a look at the side, how thin this thing is. Even the buttons are razor sharp. So overall, in terms of the design, this is in my opinion, the best looking phone of all time. Let me know in the comment section down below again, what do you guys think when it comes to the design? Love it, hate it, which phone looks the best in your opinion? Then the display. Well, the display is also mind-blowing. It's a Quad HD resolution display coming in at 534 ppi. And since it's an AMOLED display, well, you probably know that the colors are incredibly vibrant if you're into that sort of stuff. And now we also get an always-on mode, so even if your phone is locked, you'll have the time or the calendar on the screen at all times. So no need to unlock the phone anymore. Speaking of unlocking the phone, the fingerprint reader has been greatly improved. Just take a look at how fast it unlocks now. And then the cameras, the cameras are just incredible. The resolution has dropped to 12 megapixels from 16, but it's not actually a bad thing since now we have a much better low light performance. And among with that f1.7 aperture, this is the best smartphone in terms of that low light photography. Also, in terms of the performance, mine's the European model, so it comes with the Exynos 8890, among with four gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, these are some insane specs and the experience has been overall fluid definitely the fastest for a samsung device but definitely not the fastest for android device we still have the occasional touch with lag here and there nothing too major though and the battery life well that 3600 million bars battery even though it's huge i didn't manage to kill it in half a day of heavy usage and by heavy usage i mean really 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 heavy usage and testing but yeah more about the battery life in my full review once i get to do some more in-depth testing so yeah definitely stay tuned for that so in the end amazing design amazing display amazing cameras and now it's also waterproof the only thing i can complain about is the touch with lag fortunately it still hasn't been completely fixed yet hopefully in a future update or with the s8 or s9 but other than that overall this is an amazing phone and the iphone 7 is going to be its main competitor but that one only comes out in september so yeah we still have a long time to wait and until then until the iphone 7 and until the new nexuses come out 
this is going to be the best 2016 flagship smartphone. Best display, best design in my opinion, best cameras definitely. And yeah, it's also waterproof now, micro SD card, a huge battery and what else could you ask for? And a phone. So yeah, really impressed with the S7 Edge so far. But I'll definitely have a lot more videos covering the Samsung Gal 